Hey folks, it's John with KGTropicals.com, bringing you another episode of my Comment of the Week series where I comb through all of my social media accounts and select a comment that I believe is worthy of addressing in video. So let's get right to it. First comment today comes from my How to Breed the Freshwater Angelfish, Episode 1, and it reads like this. I had fish when I was seven. That's cute. I remember when I had my first beer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so today's real question comes from Episode 5 of Comment of the Week, which was the Is Your Tank Big Enough for Your Fish episode, and it reads like this. I have two questions for you, if you can get to them. One, are jewel cichlids from Africa or South America? The guy at the pet store said South America, but he also said piranha and live with Mbuna. Second question is, my Sokolify is bullying the other fish. He is just a little bigger than the other Mbunas, but he killed my bumblebee and he hurt my bircher's fin. What should I do? Okay, so the first thing I would do if I were you is find somebody other than that guy to give you advice on what fish can go with what, because he's led you down the wrong path more than once. First of all, he told you that a bircher, bichar, biker, you can say it however you want, is okay to go with bumblebees and sacolify. It could not be more wrong there. And he's also told you that jewels are South American. That I mean, that's just blatantly wrong. Jewels actually are African cichlids, but I'm putting a big butt on this, folks. People get confused because they're from the continent of Africa. They believe that they're okay to go with your Malawi fish or Tanganyikans or Victorians. What happens is people go into the store. They see this absolutely gorgeous, bright red fish. I mean, you can hardly ever find fish as bright red as jewels are with these beautiful blue polka dots all over them. And you say, wow, that's gorgeous. And then you look at the little plaque that the pet store has, and it says, Origin, Africa. And you think, this is perfect. I can throw them right in with my Mbunas because they're from the same place. And they're not. It would be the equivalent. I, I tried to think of a good equivalent. It would be the equivalent of putting an arowana with German blue rams. Just because they're both from the Amazon, you, they can go together, right? We all know that those GBRs would be fish food for your arowanas. So... Just because they're from the same continent doesn't necessarily mean that they can go together. Jewels are a gorgeous fish. They're extremely mean. They will kill everything in your tank, trust me, especially if you end up with a male and a female. But they're really pretty, and a lot of people are drawn to them because of that striking red color. But they are not from Malawi Tanganyika or Victoria. They're from the western side of the continent. They're from rivers and streams and small lakes out there. So yes, they're from the same continent, but they're not the same type of African cichlids that you think they are. So I would not recommend anybody stick them with your Malawi fish or, or anything like that. I would actually tell you to not put them with anything because they're so mean, they're going to end up killing everything in your tank. Just put them in a good sized tank by themselves you don't need anything to go with them. They're bright red. They're beautiful. So your next question was, how do you get the Sokolify to stop beating up your Bircher? The only way that's really going to happen is if you separate them. Because they're not supposed to be together anyway. And they're just going to continue to wreak havoc. I'm going to link you to a video at the end of this video. I'm going to recommend that you watch that. It applies to African cichlids and not Birchers, But... You know, I guess you can use that video and, and hopefully it'll help you out to get through that. But that's really the only way that you're going to get things to settle down in there. You really do need to probably add more African cichlids to the tank to curb that aggression. And all that's going to do is end up getting your bircher killed. So I would tell you that you're going to start needing to think about either getting rid of one or the other or getting another tank. So this episode was a lot of fun. It kind of piggybacks on an episode I did a couple of weeks ago where I was talking about you really need to consider the source where you're getting your information. Sometimes I might even lead you down the wrong direction. Nobody's perfect. We're all just talking about our own experiences here. But that guy that you're getting your information from, 
I don't know where he came from or where he got his information from. So you really do need to hear things from more than one source before you make a decision to buy a fish. You don't want to waste that money and you don't want your fish to end up dying. So I want to thank you all so much for watching this video. If you want to see the video that this comment came from, you can click right up here and it'll take you right over to it. And as promised, my conquering African cichlid aggression video is right here. Again, doesn't apply to birchers, but it'll definitely help you get through the aggression on your African cichlids. So thank you all so much for watching, and I look forward to talking to you again next week with a brand new comment.